right here with Comics here. We're gonna make a short video uh, talking about um, the gameplay showcases I've been seeing. Okay, summer, you know, it is summer, and I've seen all these cool gameplay showcases. I haven't seen them all yet. I've seen the, the PlayStation one with Spider Man two. Uh, looks good. I've seen um, the Xbox One with uh, Starfield. The Xbox One with old school games and Starfield. Mm, you know, deep dive. I've seen Ubisoft's Ford. You know, I actually liked a lot of things about that. You know, other people didn't, but I did. Mm, sorry. Uh, yeah, you know, Prince of Persia, uh, Assassin's Creed. Uh, yeah, mm, Star Wars, mm, mm, Avatar. Mm, you know, you know. I didn't realize Just Dance was on there. <laughs> you know, I would like to see that too. Mm, so yeah, I like that. Uh, but yeah, all kinds of other ones. Wholesome Game Stream, Day of the Devs, uh, Summerfest, was it Summerfest? Yeah, Summerfest, Devolver Digital, my gosh, that one was epic, <laughs> crazy epic, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, see a lot of things for things. After seeing all these game streams, I have come to a similar conclusion. Fallout 76 must die. <laughs> okay. Uh, sea of Thieves also must die. <laughs> and Skull and Bones must also die. <laughs> okay. These, these live service games need to die. <laughs> okay. Because here's the problem. Okay. With Sea of Thieves, you have these people wasting their time on a live service game. Now we got Lucasfilm making, uh, what is it, LeChuck? <laughs> you know, the. Monkey Island, <laughs> okay, that's nice. Yeah, no, kill it then. <laughs> okay, yes, I let that be there and then have it killed. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> then you have a uh, Skull and Bones taking out Ubisoft's precious time. They should be working on Beyond Good and Evil 2, more Assassin's Creed. And now you got Prince of Persia coming back <laughs> and Avatar, you know, a bunch of other stuff. They need to be focusing on those things and not a life service game mm -mm. and the worst the, the deepest cut of all fallout 76 mm -mm. okay i was watching the xbox game for the play showcase i was having a great time watching that showcase it was, it was wonderful and then they devoted two to three minutes on telling us that fallout 36 a crappy fallout 4 action you know, that was called uh asset flip <laughs> live service asset flip mm -mm. that was broken at release mm -mm. you know and it's not worth, you know, people buying it and playing it. Now, now has more stuff in it. Yeah, you go to Atlantic City and Fallout 4. And then it's like, oh, yeah, now we have Starfield. You know, this game is way more complicated than Starfield. We're working on that as well. I'm like, yeah, you kill Fallout 36. Put all the people that are working on that onto Starfield, <laughs> okay? Because uh, after seeing the uh, deep dive itself and seeing what Angry Joe and friends are talking think about it, I am worried for Starfield, <laughs> okay? If you are messing around, you're still wasting time and effort on Fallout 76, which is a game that almost no one is playing now, <laughs> you know? And yet, Starfield is going to come out, and this thing's supposed to be so complicated that it's ridiculous. <laughs> you know, like No Man's Sky plus Skyrim put together <laughs> or something, you know, or, or something. You know, one of the most complicated games I've ever seen in my life. You know, uh, yeah, I, I'm worried for it because, you know, you, you're wasting your time with this. So, Fallout 36, <laughs> Skull and Bones, and Sea of Thieves need to die. <laughs> we need to put those you know developers onto something worthwhile instead. A Halo Infinite needs to do you know, do something <laughs> because it needs to basically focus on campaigns. <laughs> you know, have more online multiplayer <laughs> or something, and not be on live service as well. Those people are also being like, yeah, who cares? I don't care about this game to work. <laughs> you know, but Halo Infinite and Halo. <laughs> And of course, yeah, the uh, Batman. Oh, uh, what is that? What is that? Uh, Rocksteady's new um, Suicide Squad game. It's supposed to be a live service, and it's all same old, same old fighting styles and everything like that. Um, hopefully, they'll fix that and make it awesome like it's supposed to be because they can do it. But yeah, it shouldn't be a live service anyway. <laughs> you know, it should be a full fledged Arkham City style game set in Metropolis, starring the Suicide Squad as four unique playable characters. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. These live service games need to die. <laughs> So that good games can live. Okay, that's what, you, that's what I need to say about that. So I see you guys next time checking out on YouTube and Art. We're gonna continue on with some more stuff right now.